Okay, so who are you guys? I'm Rico. I'm Lauren. I'm Shannon. I'm Seth. And, and we're Vanessa, I, I promise. promise. Excellent. And today's episode is going to be on social causes, right? Yes. Okay, so we're in 2009. The United States just inaugurated a new president. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so now this is, this is a whole new world. Uh, what's going on in the world right now? How do you guys see this? Your generation, you guys are coming up now. You're, you guys are in high school? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us about how you see the world right now as far as social causes. It's content. like based on magazines and like how pretty you can be pretty much. It's well, I mean, like, like, yeah, I guess like pop culture. Yeah, world, but like, pop culture is. And like the whole thing in Africa with like the genocide yeah, and stuff like that. Like crazy. that is terrible. Why, like why, why is that happening? That makes no sense. But yeah, that is perfect. But I mean, you know, if you really... Everyone's like, world peace, so world peace, do you know how hard it is to... World peace is not existent, like, I've come to that conclusion, because, like, I wish it would peace exist, is though. defined, like, how you perceive it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you guys think the world's in good shape right now, bad shape no. right now? No. No. You're well, saying How no. much in debt are we in? A lot. <laughs> yeah. Several billion. Lots of money. Lots of money. Lots of money. <laughs> That's Too many money. I mean... So what would it feel like to be somebody your age right now in a world like this? I don't know. It's hard because like I know recently I had my whole after high school like plan for college. I was going to go to New York for school. My dad's like, hey, your college was based off of the stock market. You can't go to New York. I was like, what? Like, yeah, and I know that. I can't be the only kid that has to go through that. And I'm like, now my whole after life, like high school life thing is all messed up. So it's the economy, the stock, like the stock exchange and just everything is just <laughs> okay. And how about you other guys? What do you guys think? Uh, it's it can be hard, you know, because like I'm adopted and my parents are very but um, <laughs> I, I won't even go into that subject, okay? Because it's just too like no one cares. Um, we ca we care. We, we care. care. The library system cares. Uh, well, like I mean, people don't really want to hear that. They're like, "Why are you telling us about your abusive parents?" But um, why would you tell your parents? Yeah, it, I mean, it's been getting better, and it's been getting worse at the same time. You know, with my situation, because like I got adopted, and I'm not living in the house I used to live in. But at the same time, like things with friends at school, and it's all just really piling up. Because like, in high school, they like want you to follow like this set trend, and it's just really overwhelming with all this stuff they want you to do. Yeah, like, I know crazy. it's like really hard to find a job right now. Like, I have no idea. Like, as soon as I can get a job, you know, I'm going to go and try and get one. I'm going to apply everywhere. But, I mean, yeah. you know, it's just so hard right now. Because, like, jobs are in such high demand. Yeah, I mean, there are people who have, like, college degrees that are, like, working at McDonald's because that's the only place that they can get a job at. And that's yeah. terrible. People are getting so, laid off more and more. Yeah, it's just a scary thing, you know? Like, you know. what if your parents get laid off at work? It's like, what will you do? Live on you know, the streets? They're giving like, those no jobs money. to people overseas. And yeah. it's like... Keep the jobs in our country, man. <laughs> yeah, I know all of us have a lot of family problems that have to do with all of this crap that's going on. Like, Everyone yeah. does. And you know what? The only thing you can do, because there's, there's nothing you can do about it, the only thing you can do is smile and just bring up your yeah. friend's attitude. Like, that's how I am yeah, all the time. I'm always happy. Like, I am ridiculously outrageous. And we're just like, yes! Like, no matter what I'm going through, I'm always going to be there for my friends, just making them happy and stuff. Because you know what? That's I can deal with my stuff. You just got to learn to deal with it. Living in today's society is like, hard because like kids our age could have like a lot of good ideas but like older people don't want to listen to us because I'm sorry what'd you say like I take him where I, I can get him okay yeah that's okay. yeah, yeah. Thanks. that's what I'm getting at yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just it's there's so much like discrimination stuff still like these days like I mean I thought Racism was bad in like New York. I moved here and I was like, I know. Whoa. And like the whole like yeah. Amendment Eight in like California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gay, gay marriage. Yeah, and 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 like why? Here. Who and is like, it hurting? Yeah, it's, it's not, not hurting. hurting there's anyone. gonna be more protests and controversy if there's no gay marriage. Exactly. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. I think it's just. Cool. Both so, sides of the world kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we cleared that up. Um, so you guys now, we talk, asked you to come in and talk about a social cause. So ba based on what you're talking about, the way the world is now, um, tell us what kind of social cause you think should be important to people. Vanessa, I promise says no nukes. No not nukes. Then, not now, not ever. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, we did a retro social cause back in 1979. Um, the Three Mile Island accident happened, and like there was a meltdown like in the core of the secondary part of the plan and if that would have gotten worse it would have 
knocked over onto the primate and would have been like, boom, explosion! And everyone would have died. Yeah, everyone would have died. died. So like, it was, was really so bad, bad. Like, pregnant women and small children within five miles of like a five mile radius like had to leave like because there was radioactivity and stuff like that. Yeah, like we're being born with two hands. Oh no. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> like on the hills have eyes. And this lady's like, why don't I just give birth to a pterodactyl? <laughs> But it's not even human. Nuclear <laughs> power plants are so terrible for the environment. Yeah, and, and they're, they're bad for the environment. Like, if yeah. accidents like that can happen, no matter how effective they are, like power wise, that's not okay. Like, why would you want to put yourself in danger? Like, this yeah, thing? it's like that thing we're do doing it. with the atoms. It's like, yeah, this dude, why would, why you, do would you want to possibly destroy the world? Like, you <laughs> stupid. But yeah. it's so great that we have like wind energy and solar. Yeah, energy and the like, water energy. Yeah. And that's but, that's I mean, good for the environment. Yeah. It's just not dangerous. Yeah, like the wind's not gonna be like, oh, and attack everybody. Like, it's <laughs> a tornado. Yeah, that, that kind of, you know, well, that's, I mean, that's different. I mean, then you yeah. got a lot of power, though. Really cool. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. It's like, make um, a tornado next to yeah, The reason why we chose this one is because, I mean, not only is it still, like, there's still apparently nuclear power plants, like, now, and it's like, get rid of them. Like, we're already going through all the crap and like, even the warming and stuff, and stuff like that. Like, nuclear bombs. Anything general. nuclear, like, no, thank you. Just get rid of it. It's not cool. So, like, that, but, um, there were like we didn't have those concerts. on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Brown, Graham Nash, Bonnie Wright, and John Hall got together and did the No Nukes concert in Madison Square Garden. It was like five concerts, and it was, it was like, like the first thing that was actually going yeah, on in America. In America, that they held a big fundraiser for, and they raised millions of dollars for like No Nukes groups and stuff. And it's like obviously it helped. Yeah. And it's it's working now. And I'm just like stuff like that is great. Like when you could just. Music holds the world together, it yeah, really does. It like, really, no matter what you say, it's like, we, like okay. <laughs> music holds the world together. There are always be music society, part of this. And like, like, even like bands now, like Rise Against, like all their songs are really good, but they're all very political. And all like, yeah. when you listen to what they're talking about, like it helps you. Like if you haven't realize, heard of Rise like, Against, go listen. And like, kids don't watch the news. They listen to Rise Against. You know, they're like, damn, we're in trouble. You know, <laughs> like fix it, and. It's like, like post America, um, the it's such a good song. It's about like global warming and stuff. Yeah, that it's is a really depressing yeah. song. Like if you look at it, it's just it's, it's really sad. It's just like, they are. and I think there should be more bands out there that like promote social causes and promote yeah. Like, yeah. better things for the world. Hey, we think so too. That's why you're here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. Exactly. But I mean, it just it was a big thing. They raised like millions and millions of dollars, and it's just I think it's completely worth it. Yeah, and we had another sign that we didn't bring. The Riku made it's like drop war, not nukes. Like that basically means like get rid of get war. Like you're gonna drop a class in high school, you drop war. You know, like don't not nukes. Obviously, you're not gonna drop nukes either. So, I mean, look what happened after Hiroshima. There's babes like three arms and like. Like, why would we get first to a pterodactyl? <laughs> you know? It's like, why would... Where did this T-Rex like, come from? People are like, like, I know a bunch of countries want to bomb Israel, like nuclear, like... War. Ah! And we're like, they're our biggest ally out there, so we're obviously gonna have to help them. And I'm like, no, I like living, thank you. <laughs> and it's like, why would you want to go into nuclear war? Like, yeah, we've got no so, well, so did they. We're both gonna die. Well, this is pointless. I'll see you later. Like, <laughs> that makes no okay, sense. Bye. It's like, it does. so stupid. War okay. is stupid. Okay, so that was th th thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. So you don't like war. I'm, I'm taking. No. You don't like war. Uh, You're coming across. Okay. Um, standing where you guys are now and looking back with the retro theme uh look back at previous generations and this is you're you're going to be online with this thing you're going to be able to talk to millions and millions of people what do you have to say to the previous generations a pro or con good or bad you know what i think back in the day like if you look at the civil rights and like the gay rights movement there was a big protest and they they you know what they did it they protested it they did whatever they could to raise money they did it now it's like they're just like, oh, gay rights, yeah. And like, yeah, and just, they sit in front of the computer and they're just like, on MySpace, yeah, blogging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if you so MySpace, get out there, get a blog on MySpace. Go start a concert. Yeah. Make yeah. a difference. Raise money. You know, we need more people doing stuff like that to yeah. actually get the word out. Because if a majority of people are doing it, they're gonna be like, oh, they're gonna get pissed at us. We need to fix this. Yeah. You know, like, Definitely. it's, duh. Like, just do it. It's like we're so lazy now when you look at it. Like. Like, we want to make a difference, but we don't. Amazing. Yeah.